everybody, this is Stevie. I'm gonna walk you through a banana bread recipe. So the first step is collecting your ingredients. So I've got one cup and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, three quarter teaspoons of salt, three large eggs, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of mashed bananas. Uh, the bananas aren't mashed yet, they're fresh out of the freezer, so I'm gonna let those defrost. And three quarter cups of butter. Um, and then a, a little bit of butter afterwards to make sure you have enough to grease the pan. This is a, a pretty easy recipe with minimal ingredients, so that's why I chose it today. And hopefully you have all these things in your home. I just wrote out the instructions. I'm gonna also include these um, written with the video. Uh, but our first step, before we combine any ingredients, I like to start preheating the oven. Here we go, bake, 350. So I just uh, put the butter in the microwave for a, about 30 seconds to soften it. Um, keep an eye on it. You don't want it to get all liquidy. I'd say softened is best. Um, we're going to combine the dry ingredients. So our flour, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and then uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Give your dry ingredients a stir. Make sure you've got it all combined. You don't want to have a clump of baking soda in there. And then set that aside and you're going to combine your wet ingredients. Okay, so the next step is combining our wet ingredients. So, got my butter, oh, sugar, no, it's not wet, but it goes with the wet ingredients. Oh my goodness. There we go. And then I'm going to mix that and then I'm going to put in my banana and my three eggs. So I'll start mixing. I should say too that a mixer is not necessary. Um, it is convenient if you have one, but you can definitely do all this by hand. Okay, I probably mixed that more than necessary. Um, I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna put some in and then mix some and then put the rest in just so it doesn't clump or anything. Okay, you can see it there. I'm gonna add the rest. The reason I picked banana loaf for, I guess another reason is because I'm the type of person who hoards bananas in the freezer as soon as they get kind of overripe. I just chuck them in the freezer. So there's like 10 more in there. Um, and also after you mix the flour in, if you want to add anything else, you can put it in chocolate chips, you can put it in walnuts. It's really up to you. This is a pretty forgiving recipe. Okay, I'm going to mix the rest of the flour and then we're going to pour this into our greased um, loaf Pan. Okay, that's pretty well combined. I'm going to use my spoon, just scrape everything off. Now, I'm just going to give it one last stir. Look at that. Not everything got mixed, that's fine. 
I don't know about you, but I've been doing a lot of baking at home. So I've been enjoying that and I find baking also to be pretty therapeutic. All right, I'll get my, uh, my pan. I just greased it with some butter. Um, I just had some softened butter and used my hand. Uh, you can use a piece of wax paper though if you don't want to get butter on your hands. You can use a spray, like Pam, whatever you got. You might also want to put some uh, parchment paper. I'm just living on the edge today and I'm not going to do that. say the most important step which we're all probably doing a lot of right now is washing our hands um, so my hands are clean I'm just gonna do this to get what's left of the spatula I switched to a spatula because the spoon wasn't cutting it all right just try to clear off what's on the edges just because that stuff's gonna burn and there we go ready for the oven all right, in the middle. So I set a timer for 60 minutes. All right, it's been an hour. We're looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna do my toothpick test to make sure it's cooked all the way through. I'm pretty sure it is. You can hear my dog drinking water in the background. Um, so let this cool a bit then let it continue to cool on a wire rack, and then consume. Have a good week, everybody.